Hello YouTube! We are back at it again with another Grow video for your knowledge database. Today I'm showing off the 5 Bucket Deep Water Culture System by Viagrow. These guys included everything in the kit. They do 4 bucket kits, they do 8 bucket kits. They also have a full line of other products available. However, I did go ahead and purchase the 8 bucket hydroponic kit. I, I thought about you know, making my own. I'm a handy guy. I know how to use tools. I've got lots of construction experience. And if I was just going to do one bucket, then maybe I'd go ahead and do it myself. But I wanted a system of buckets so I could have multiple plants in the same hydroponic system. And getting it from the professionals just ensures that I'm not missing any of the steps or doing anything wrong. Like at the beginning of the video, you saw I showed the type of plastic that's being used on those buckets. I looked it up. That's the same plastic that's used for milk jugs and children's toys. It's BPA free. It's totally safe. So you know it's not going to be leaching harmful chemicals into the roots of your plants. They've also thrown in the air pump. It's going to go ahead and pump air to four buckets at a time. If you get the eight bucket kit, then you get two, you know, two air pumps, eight buckets, eight lids, that sort of thing. I've also included these handy gauges, these water level gauges that show how much water is in the bucket at any given time, so you don't have to take the lid off to check the level. The holes came pre-drilled, already got the grommet in there. I just squeeze the elbow in through the grommet. Now you'll notice there's also the smaller hole that's drilled in the lip of the bucket. That hole doesn't go all the way through to the bucket. That just goes through the lip of the bucket. And you'll see what that's for here in just a moment. You see there, we've got the elbow squeezed in through the grommet. Still allows the elbow to move. And see this hole here it does not go into the bucket and just through that lip. And what we're going to do, grab the bits and bubbles bag, the small pieces parts, and inside there are some beautiful little rings. Yeah, see right there. No, no, not that type of ring. Ah. I'm sorry, this, this is not funny. Try to be more professional from, from here on out. So, go ahead, get your bucket, and that clip is going to hold the hose upright, so that way you don't have to worry about you know, water spilling out. It'll keep the hose up for you. I'm going to go ahead and push the hose down onto that elbow, make sure it's got a good seal because we don't want it leaking there either. All right, there you go. As you can see, that's pretty much the the valve, the sorry, the gauge for our water level. You'll be able to to see what the water level's like. You can also use that for emptying the the water if you'd like you know, make it easier if that's lighter for you. See how the ring kind of pulls open like that and it just snaps on, slides in real easy peasy. And you can slide it out if you need to take it apart, move it or anything. So that's, that's it. That's your bucket assembly. The one tool that I used for this whole project was the pair of scissors. The kit comes with this length of hose for your air hose for your air pump and air stone it all comes as one big piece i guess you if you want you know some buckets set further away from the air pump than others you can cut them to the length desired i went ahead and cut it into four equal size pieces because my four pumps are going to be equal sorry my four buckets are going to be an equal distance from the pump go ahead and slide the air stone on there which will sit down at the bottom of our bucket. And then the other side of the air hose, we just need to attach to our pump. Like so. Let's 
Seems like a great company and the fact that they do provide everything in an all-in-one kit like this. This is their own brand of stuff that they've got. The, the lid, at first I did struggle trying to get the lid to snap on for a good solid seal. Uh, and then after a minute I realized it's a net pot lid. Even if it did seal, even if it did snap on, it's not going to seal. So I think it'll be all right, even not snapped, if it's fine. The air pump does include a couple of valves, you know, they're one-way directional valves. It's in case you're going to have the air pump itself below the water level, then you do need to include those valves. Uh, I'm going to have the air pump above the water level, so that's not something that I need to worry about. Here what I'm doing, I've got the, the buckets assembled and I've put them on a brown piece of paper to show so you can see if they get wet there. And I put some water in and the paper is not getting wet, they're not leaking. I turned the air pump on, and I got it plugged in and the air pumps are pumping. Well ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That's the assembly of this all-inclusive kit, this four bucket deep water culture from Viagro. Seems like a great kit, all the parts, no leaks. I can't wait to see how the plants grow in it and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Have a good one.